Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic video in the playthrough today. Um, I'm going to be trying to get myself back into a, a good routine uh, for these videos. Now, I am very, very busy with RuneScape. And you might not think that I'm that busy with RuneScape. Because I obviously have all the time in the world to choose what games that I play and all that stuff. Um, the thing is, I just prefer RuneScape more than any other game. And even this gameplay, the length of these videos is the length it takes you to record. But I do, at the moment, my skin condition that I spoke about in videos bazillions of years ago, which is infinitely better at the moment, uh, the more sleep I get, the better. And I do sleep around 10 hours a night, give me 14 hours a day. I like to stream around 6 to 10 hours even. Leave some time for other stuff and all that, but... I'm going to try and be a bit more disciplined with this, and I'm going to try and get some uh, more of these videos out on a good schedule where the RuneScape videos don't get much hindrance. Um, so we will see. Just my RuneScape videos might take a long time to create at the moment. But anyways, that being said, um, today's video, uh, I'm going to go through some of the rules of this series. As I've not uploaded it in a while, a few people may have jumped on board on the previous episode. They might watch this, and they might be giving me certain advice, um, which I consider cheese strats that I'm not actually doing. So before we jump into any of that, today we have an episode of Fun Fortress, and it's going to be a nice fun video, right guys? Well, I damn hope so, mate. 1,300 guests year three should not be a problem. We have a nice free entrance to the park, and we're going to check what roller coasters we start with. We have a wooden roller coaster, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Once again, we're going to immediately remove all this off and go for the maximum funding, and I'm not going to open the park yet. Um, so one quick rule that I play is uh, umbrellas. Yes, you could charge $20 for umbrellas. I don't do that because I think it's basically just, it's kind of a cheese strategy. Uh, I like to make the videos not as difficult as possible, um, but just kind of more of a challenge because I've beat this game before and so far I've not failed at any level yet. That will come. I will fail a video soon, uh, which will be fun as well. Uh, but I do like to just make it a bit more enjoyable for myself and play this way. Another one is I'm not allowed to build more than one of the same roller coaster unless they're synchronizing races or the other word, which I can't remember, or there are different styles. So an example is a looping roller coaster. I can have two looping coasters if one's a powered launch and the other one is a continuous circuit mode. And then there's some other rules as well, uh, but I can't remember them right now. So I'm just going to start beginning this part. So. Once again, we're going to speak some strategy here of how I play. If any of you need a few walkthroughs and tips and tricks on how to actually do this. Now, obviously, if any of you are interested in getting this game, I'm obviously not sponsored, but get Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. Don't get any other version. The reason why, you get a fast forward button and it just allows you to fly through the uh, levels at times, which is good. Now, I'm just going to quickly check my screen region. It looks a bit wrong, actually. Uh, let me fix that. Um, yeah, it was a bit out there. I think, the, I think that's correct. It looks about right. Oh, it's raining. Fantastic. So, let's work this park out. Now, the first thing that's going to go on is this park is huge. But I don't want guests going all around the park when there's no rides in certain areas. So, what we're going to do is we are going to cut off a pathway here. And I'm trying to work out which one. I don't know why I'm making this so difficult for myself. But I'm thinking, I think we should chop off this entirely right now, actually. And then I'm going to chop that off because I'll connect it around. Giving us a one-way path which leads all the way to this gigantic castle here. Which I can barely see what's going on. Oh, this is horrendous. I might just cut this entire thing off for the whole park. Right, we're going to just chop there. I'm going to keep the park nice and small to begin with. What we're going to do is going to whack in a thrill ride. Two thrill rides. We'll put in a swinging ship. I'm going to save the wooden roller coaster for the start. It's one of the best in the game. Um, we'll put the swinging ship here, actually. And I could probably just do entrance and exit here. And what we'll do is we're going to take it inside this very horrible thing which i think that's connected yep that looks like it connected so now if i take the entrance as well we'll just make this a little bigger <clears throat> connect this elsewhere uh, and then i will actually take everything into the front of the park let me work out how to do this nothing wrong as well with changing landscape you see right now i'm in a bit of a struggle but what i can just do is just delete that pathway there and then we can just attach this here by lowering some land you know don't ever complicate yourself with some of the scenarios, how their paths are created. Just do what works, really. So now that I've actually connected this in here, I obviously don't want my guests to have access to this entire thing yet because they're all going to get lost. So what we're going to do is if I remove... Let's go with... It's very hard to see what's going on here. But if I remove that and that, I think this path leads to my exit. So if I can see roughly where it's going that's the exit that connects to there it's this pathway here i have to kind of follow it's pretty hard to do i, I genuinely cannot see what's going on i'm going to remove this so i can see a bit easier i think because what i want is it just looks like it's over the top 
it's 30 feet all the way around. I think it connects right there, actually. So if I click that, yeah, you can't delete it. Perfect. That's fine. So now I know what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm going to be honest, this map, it looks absolutely horrible for a layout. I'm going to be a bit careful with this one. But as far as I'm aware, the guests now can't go anywhere that I don't want them to be. Now, that's quite important at the beginning of some scenarios. So what we'll do now is I will build this twist and I will put the twist. Um, I mean, maybe I just, oh, this is a nice space for a little coaster later on, actually. Maybe we just put the twist bang in the center of this. I do have the space. Let's remove this path here. Whack my twist here. Entrance there. Exit there. And I'll just put one exit piece down here. We should remove that. All connects nicely. And it also didn't cost me anything, which is nice. But it's just very annoying. I can't even see my entrance, bro. This is going to be a very annoying video. Oh, man. If it could beat Dragon's Cove, I'd be surprised. I just, I can't, I can't see. Let me get rid of these. I can add anything back later, but... See, now I don't know what pathway here is actually working. Because isn't the way in... Oh, no, the way in's here. So I've got the entrance built backwards. So let's remove that. I'm just going to go up two here so I can connect this background easy. My exit is connected to... My exit's connected to the wrong side, as far as I'm aware. Is it? I really can't tell. This is horrible. I'm really not liking this. Uh, my exit's connected to the wrong side, yeah. So I want to take this to there, that to there, that to there. No, that's wrong. I want to put my exit here, and I want to remove that path. And then that should go there. That all should be correct. Now, this angle is a lot easier to work with, because I can see if I just take my entrance around the other way, I can bring this to there. Now, that should be the pirate ship and the twist working. So, it's going to test this and we're going to get it open. And I will test this and I will get this open as well. And I'm going to open the park. Set my ride prices. Uh, my ride prices, I just set them to specific amounts. Uh, normally, the coasters I'll charge a bit more for. Uh, but normally, when it's full rides, uh, apart from some other ones like launch freefall and stuff, I do actually just whack them up a bit. Right, Pagoda, and I will, of course, we will always be naming our humble thing. Let's go with Black Pearl today. I think we have multiple names for our pirate ships. I can't remember. We go with, like, Nish and Mario, which is a whaling ship, and all that. And this can just be twisted. You can just be a humble twist. Oh, you're inside a little castle. Let's go with a four minor, man, you know. Give it a random name. Right, looping roller coaster. Nice, I might build one. Information kiosk, we're going to build here. And then I want to attach these pathways around it. It's what I normally do. I don't know if this is good, but it just gives the guest, I think, like, more chances to buy. I think if I go this way, they can go that way, and it's less chances. So this is a new thing I actually do. Also, food stall, drink stall, and toilets. We are all good on that aspect. You are open. $1 for the map, $3 for the umbrella. You can charge 20 if you want, if you need some extra help. It is not a bad idea. Okay. If I go with a looping coaster, I could just, I don't, I just, I hate this terrain. So what I might just do is build myself like a little launch one. Which I could build here perfectly, actually. But I could build the wooden going up here and maybe mess around. I, I like the idea of building the wooden in this area. So what we'll do is we're going to try and build two coasters in the first 20 minutes there, which would be good. And the first one we'll build will be this one. Which will be a powered launch. And... To try and keep it out the way of everything. If we go here, I might hit the end of the park. Right, land not owned by park. So let's try. That should be right. And then if I go one, two, three, four, five. Should be about right. And then unfortunately, as you can see immediately, I just have all this land that I just, is in the way, bro. So let's go with... We're going to have to just do some architecture, mate. All right. Goodbye and goodbye. If I do this, this, and then the only thing I'm worried for here is I won't really be able to get my entrance and exit out, but I could possibly take it through the loop. Go with the booster track, and I take it through the loop because I think it's just one of the most or just best mechanics in the game. But let's keep it flat because if I keep it flat, then I think I can do a big curve through the loop here and then just go all Python like so. And that should have some good ratings. And if I put entrance here, bam, it's going to hit the loop. I'm going to have to go with like something like this, I think. Let me connect the path first. Uh, it's a nice quick ride. It should make me some good money as well. We're going to do a bit of architecture here where I think what we'll do actually, it'll make it a lot easier if we do this. Let's just go over the top of this path. Down an entrance to that. And this part here, I'm going to connect to... 
maybe I just remove that and then this part here. It's a little horrible and I'm not a fan, but this map is going to have some very horrendous terrain to deal with. Delete that, whatever it is. And wait, was that the piece I just built? Yeah, I need that one. Actually. So now let's get the entrance in. The entrance is more important. And I think I can just go up twice over the top as planned. That's good. And then I can just bring it down here. And what we want to do here is I want to try and connect this entrance to a point where all the guests will see it. Now, we can do that very easily by changing the exit. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for playing today, mate. Uh, if I go like so... Wait. This is already at 15, so if I just go straight forward, that's good. And then what I get here is if I go straight down, it's there. Now, every guest that comes in the park will possibly go there into the ride. That's good. So... Powered launch, 40 miles an hour is what makes the loop. Give it a quick test to make sure it's low. So far, so good. We have the photo as well for five. And then this will probably charge about... Yeah, it's perfect. It's probably like 550 for this, maybe. Nah, I'll put it at six dollars. It makes the loop just about. It should be fine. Even with more guests in, I think it'll be fine. And then that is good. And this should just print me some money. So again, we're going to fast forward. That should give me the ratings. We can charge... Oh my god, we can charge like seven dollars for this. All right, and then this is going to make us some good money here, and that'll be, we'll use that to buy the wooden roller coaster. And it's actually a good start. The rest of the map's going to suck when I build things, but my actual initial creation on this park is decent. And we'll just call this Spider. That's not how we spell Spider. Well, it is, but no cap to me. Spider. And we'll name it, or oh, we'll make it, let's go with like the, let's go with black and orange. Oh, let's go with orange and black, actually. It's kind of a horrible color. Yeah, yeah it's spidery, whatever. And then, uh, full white train, maybe. Hmm. Entrance can be a abstract. Yep, I'm liking it. It's all good, and I'm very happy with it. It's kind of trash, but it is what it, it does what it needs to do, basically. And that is make me some money. So, everything else seems to be good. Have any of my guests escaped is the question. I'm actually going to put another information kiosk up, and I'm going to put it here. The more of those, the better. Because once I open this map, if I ever open this map, there's a chance that I don't. And also, let's try and make some balloon money. That's uh, not balloon money. Let's try and make a bit of balloon money here with you. Uh, let's leave them red. Whoa, come on, son. Joey, babe. You should have bought the balloon, bro. All right, now we build the wooden. So the wooden, I'm going to try and build it up here. If I turn it around twice and S-bend it, I can drop it, and then we're just going to build something pretty chaotic. But what we need to do is work out how I'm going to build it to go up there where it's going to look decent. So first things first, let's just test running this at 25. The reason why 25 is because it will run over the 15 there quite nicely. And then if we build our entrance here. A little out of it. If we go 25 to, let's try and get a, a double, a double or a triple maybe actually. So 45, 65, 85, I would need 110. So let's just go for the 85. And if I drop it once, then I spend to the right. Can I turn twice here? Perfect. Now if I spend back, that's nice. I like it. I should be able to double. Not even close to double, actually. Hmm. If this works first try, I'll do this. But yeah, I need that. But two more up, actually. So seventy-five from eighty-five should work nicely. But then I get to this stupid thing. I wish it was like one more forward. It would have been perfect. But this is okay. This is all it really needs to do. And then I can't do that, but that's okay because I'll go one. Then we'll do it with a big one, maybe. Maybe we'll triple around that to 70. It should make that. Bring it back down here. Mine of money. Loans, always good. Maximum loan, 25k. Might spend most of it on this ride. Uh, let's go with... See, I don't really like this. What I might do instead is go... Something like so. Not down, actually. Oh, wait. Could I do that, actually? No, the pirate ship will get in the way. Maybe. Okay, this I like a bit better. Nice. No, I'm back to where I was before. Actually, no. This will do. So, a little bit there. That's nice. Can I photo that? No, we can photo down here, though. Want to spend any more photos as we can? Photos are money. Now, one thing we're not going to do with this ride, I think, is put a loop in. I don't think I could get it to make the loop. But then again, I could make it stand out. Like, if I go around here, through there, back down here. Let's see, the height of that loop going from 40, 70. I don't think it'll make it. It probably could, but we'll leave it be. All we need to do is get a few drops in and we're happy. 
Now this bit's good because I have loads of space to work with here. So I can just do a nice turn. Oh, ah! Stand corrected. Maybe we just do the double because the double should maybe allow me. From 55 should take me down to there. That's okay. And then... I don't know how fast I'm going, so I think that might be a bad idea. Do that is probably my best option. And then bring this background here. Oh, I get quite a bit of speed down here. Maybe we could throw a loop in, actually. Don't think I'm going to be able to get out of it, though. It's just the terrain's a bit of a nightmare here. So the ride's actually looking quite good, but I get quite a bit of speed near the end here. And I'm liking, I'm liking the, the actual aesthetic of the ride. is really, really nice. I fit it nicely in there. There's a bit of space, but I could build a ride here later and connect it to the path. So let's keep going. Um, big fan of this right now. Let's go deeper into here, actually. Yeah, right in, right in. And then if we go like this, I could bring it back out. Probably bring it around here with a small... Now I want to kind of just think about taking it back to the station. I'm on 30 here, so I guess we go over there like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Did that go right through? No, it goes right up to it. Ignore that. So again, now we're at the 45 mark. I've got this bit here. We've got the stretch. Maybe make it a little big. Helix, possibly. Helix. Yeah, we'll do a helix large, small, up large. And then this gives us a perfect uh, minus like 15 to do this, which we just go. The balloon stall might need to move. No, that goes perfectly to the end there. Nice. Right. So the entrance could go there, which I think would be a better option. If I take it that way, I've got the space and connect it there. would be very good. And then the exit, I should hopefully be able to just put on the opposite side. Put them up there. Right. Two trains articulated are always the best here. Maximize this. And we want to watch this ride to make sure it works. So turn that off. Click on this. Fast forward to the beginning. And let's have a little gander. I'm quite nice with this. Pretty happy. Normally, I always try to build the loop through the loop because it's a very powerful mechanic. But I did that on the looping one. So let's just see how this works. It might have a pretty low average speed, but all I really need is a little high, high, medium here. There we go. So we've got a 40, so it would have never made that loop initially. We've got the hills. We've got the photo. It's not too bad, actually. And then I think it might hit max speed here. Yeah, 42 there. Comes around this last part. It's actually going pretty fast. I can throw a loop in. And it just goes back to the start. If I get like a high, high, medium on that, I think I'm quite happy. Um, yeah, it's okay. So it's high, it's high, very high, medium, which is completely fine because that's almost very high, very high, medium. The ride is perfect. Now we build the queue. And I hope this will actually go this way, which is perfect. I might not be able to do this one and back. No, but not that. And just build the ride as far in as possible, actually. So I want a big queue. 1,300 guests to deal with, remember. And then if I can bring this down fast enough, which is almost right. Can I go left twice here? No, I think I can't, but let's just go forward. There we go. This is what I want. And then we go to 15 here. And then, like I said before, what we're going to do is connect this pathway to a point where every single guest is going to walk into the pathway. What happens is they go here. And if the ride's open, they go on. It makes me a lot of money. And then the game becomes a lot easier. Now, this one here is directly on top of something. Fort Minor broke down. I will uh, fix that one up. And that's all good. Don't need much of that. Fort Minor requires a mechanic to do that. I'm going to get a handyman in a moment, but that ride is now open. You, my friend, are called Timber Trotter. And we're going to go one of my favorite color schemes, which is just the triple brown. Very nice uh, color scheme. And then I might go with, like, some red train, actually. Let's go with, like, a purple red train, you know. Move it too much. Yeah, maybe that. Yes, that looks good. I'm happy with it. You, my friend, Wild West style, and I can charge probably about. I think a comfortable $10 would be fine without me abusing any other mechanic to the ride. So let's whack in, uh, what is it, $750? Yeah, $10 will be nicely for that one. This is doing very well. Now what we do is we do an advertising campaign for a particular ride. Whack it on Timber Trotter, and we are good. How are our guests doing? Let's get some handymen into the park. You, my friend, are going to be doing all of this. Uh, if you ever play this game, staff are cheap. They're cheap, and they're good. It is recommended, depending on the size of the park, try and give all your staff members these blueprints. It basically, common knowledge, but it will keep them in their areas. And it means you don't need to hire as many staff. And you can also prevent the flaws from getting, like, quite bad. Um, I think that should be fine. Now, mechanic-wise, I don't really bother with that, personally. Right, you need to... 
hurry people off, mate. People are going on. Timber Trotter, are you, my friend, are having a castle brown? Yes, sir. Very good. Questions are good. Too intense. Yeah, that's because you're a pussy, mate. All right, chip stalls. So food stalls, we want to put them in multiple areas. Now, with this being the biggest cash ride in the park, we want to try and keep the food stalls roughly near the entrance. So, entrance is here. So, if I actually just put the food stalls here, this is kind of perfect. So, I'm just going to put them all next to each other. There's nothing wrong with the game if I do that. So, we'll just put food here and just open it. I will put drinks next to it and just open that straight away. And then I will put toilets in and open that straight away. Now is when I start working on extending my park. And we need to work out how to do that. So... If I have food and drink here and I've got everyone going this way, where do I want to take my guests? In all honesty, I just don't want to take them through this castle. But the best way to do it is here. So I open this. I instantly close that one off. I actually think this entire thing I deleted earlier. No, so they can go this way. But now I need to make sure I catch them before they go too far. So they come in here. Is it a dead end? No, it connects onto that, so I want to remove this. Oh my god, I really am struggling here to see anything at all. It's actually horrible, this map. So this is all they have access to. I'm going to have to block this off for now, because I need to work out how it works, and I just generally cannot see where these paths go. So I'm on the underground view. Now, it looks like it comes in here, but then where does it go after that? Because this top one is wrong. Right, maybe I just have to build. So I've got that. And then if I follow this. Minus 32s. So I'm building these paths now. So it turns off somewhere. Is it a dead end? Wait, it's not this, is it? Is it 60 feet? It's 50 feet. It comes in at 50 feet right here. Ah, you know what, mate? Let's see where the guests go. I'm just going to have to risk this and delete paths as I go along. They just vanished off the face of the earth, bro. All right, where are they going? They're behind this 60 path here. It looks like a dead end. They're all turning back. Yeah, it's a dead end right here. So what I think I want to now do is I actually get my freedom of movement here and I want to try and connect it to here. So what is this? I just can't see what it is. That was just built. I'm sorry, this video is just going to be me struggling with these paths for a while. You can see how annoying these are to deal with. In all honesty, I probably shouldn't even open any of this. But I need to connect my pathways. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to delete this top path. I'm going to get this out of the way just so I can see a bit easier. I think this is useless. Maybe except for this one here. When that one comes in, that looks a lot easier to see. Yeah, this one comes in at 60. So this one's valuable to me. And it goes all the way around here though. So we just remove this entire path. Because once it comes in here, I can bring this down. Now obviously I don't deal with this one yet. What I need to do is fix this one fast. I, it just looks like I generally have a dead end. So maybe what we can do... Again, there's all this 40 here. I don't want to connect it. It's too much. I may have killed someone there, but if he died, he went down in glory. Right, 30 feet now. Path in the way. Path in the way. New angle. See through scenery. Stupid paths are all on top of each other. What is this path here, right? This one's 40 feet. And now it's gone, which means I'm not at 30 feet. I'm at a different height. Okay. I just, I don't know what half of this stuff is. That should now connect. God, this is horrible, man. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. So what I want to do now is stick a little humble ride down here. We'll stick the observation tower. Now this is just an extra ride and we'll put you at 150 feet. Entrance can go... I'll put the entrance... No, the entrance should go here and the exit probably about there. Build my exit first. No reason to do this, but... Oh, timber trotter's in the way. Let's put exit there. I can build it beneath timber trotter. I'm going to ruin its support slightly, but... 
And that's a perfect exit. And I can just leave that there. It's fine. I'll put a sign there, though, in a bit. And then this one, what I want to do is bring it to... This is not... This is 45. So this is actually correct. I should do it. Right, go. Another ride to the park. That's good. We need lots of rides in this park. I got a wild mouse. Might open that in a bit. This should probably be charged like 330. You'll probably be fine. And 243. Okay, 250 will do. Tidiest park in the country. Thank you. That's because of my handyman. And I just realized I've extended the park, which means I need more handyman. So now I need to work out where to put all these food stalls. So let's go with another one to be like round here if I can get the angle. 32, 30. Open. And again, I need to build some seats in a bit. So we'll get a... Um... Yeah, I'm very struggling. I'm not a fan of this map right now. Oh, not a fan of this map. Luckily, we have... Um... What's the map coming up? It's uh... Amity Airfield is my next map, if you didn't see on the entrance. And uh, that is notoriously known to be one of the absolute hardest maps in the entire game. Very excited to crack through it. All I know about that map from what I remember is it's perfectly flat. So I could build in peace without all this stupid stuff going on. I could probably put a little rider, actually. Motion simulator, maybe? W2x2s, Ferris wheel. Oh, perfect. Yes. Um, no one seems to be on this path. It's a little weird. We'll have a 2x2, two two, which is never a good idea, but... Uh, delete that. Go like that, and then I can actually just bring this out. Go in here, down to and connect. So there we go, little Ferris wheels inside now. And have a little spin there, friend. I'm going to set this to one rotation, which it's already up. Fast forward that. I've actually got a big loan at the moment, so let's pay off like four grand with that. And I'm going to see how all my rides and stuff are doing. You could be 150, and now I need to work on food and drink that's located here. Although, no, that's about right. I think the smartest thing I'd do with this park right now, as a genuine just playing this first try, I wanted to complete first try. I want to delete half these paths and just get the money for it. Because I'm never going to use these. They're too complicated. Should probably turn my angle here. Um... The only one I think I'm going to end up using here is... I should be dead now. Okay, good. This one's gone as well. Maybe the flat ones, but this 60-foot one here, I'll bring this one down. This one will work. So let's go to here. And then I can just build it here or something. Or I could have fit a ride in there, actually. And then that can go to there, right? And then this path around here, there's a 40 footer here just to get rid of. And then this stuff down here might be alright, maybe. It's very, very horrible. Very horrible. I'll leave that be for now. Uh, it's okay. All I want to do now is build another ride that's here. And by another ride, we need some seating. And some bins, or we're going to have a lot of litter. I also need to whack down some handymen as well. To be fair, there's a lot of flat land there, so if I actually put loads of bins, um, everyone might sit down, which would be good. Well, let's just put bins around the whole park right now. God, what a horrible terrain. I've realized how much I hate these terrains. I'm, I'm just hoping there's like one guess that somehow slipped through the cracks and he's just in the middle of nowhere right now. Though. No, not there. All right, let's go. Put this fella down. You do one more. Actually, he's on a straight path, so he does it efficiently because he just walk all the way. Uh, number five, you're going to do this side. Make sure we get the, um, that in there. And then I think my next guy, I don't know how I'm going to build this dude. I'm just going to whack down random path and uh, hope it's covered. I should do. Right. What have we got? <clears throat> I've got a lay down coaster. I've got a few coasters here. We haven't got a merry around yet. We need to start kind of improving the park so we're gonna have to start extending that is so loud i have different headphones on today we'll take it to here and this can be a park extension number one now this pathway i'm building now wow the way we have to build parks is we have to build what i use as the figure eight 
so everyone has a way they can go and like comfortably. So right here again, the terrain is so horribly bad. How's Timber Trotter actually doing right now? 26 grand. Um, see how my guests are. Okay, hungry black pearls, good value. That, my friend, was the biggest mistake of your career, mate. Does the black pearl now cost an extra of 30? Right, I've got money now. Let's whack in this dude and another one there. There is a guy covering it. And I need to start building this part of the park. And again, just the terrain is just horrible to work around. I can't make things look neat. Anyone with OCD is not going to like this, but I just have to deal with it. And what we're going to do is a ferry go, merry go round, sorry. I'm going to put it. I'll just put it here, I guess. Uh, entrance can go there, exit here. This is currently not a figure eight. Of course, this is actually just a one way, but we'll fix it in a moment. Lay down coaster, not the best. Probably won't mess around with it. Yep. This time we don't really need to do the trick of people going on it because it's America round. It's kind of trash. And then just open that. Charge a dollar fifty for that, brother. And then now I want to connect a pathway from probably, probably after Timber Trotter because I want to make the money from that ride. So I don't want to take people away from it. So realistically, this path is actually just going to connect all the way through the park here. I'm going to build this like a trench. And I'm genuinely just considering removing all this land, but we're not going to do it. We're going to just stay calm. And there we go. So now what I've done is connected a new way through and I can start building here. Again, we need 1,300 guests. We can't have 1,300 guests all being crowded. Otherwise, our park value will plummet later. So you have to always make sure you're extending your park correctly without expending it too quick. In all honesty, I think I've extended this one a bit too quick. Um, but I should be okay because I think I'll start making a lot of money soon. And everything's breaking now. I'm the Andy man. Do I have you there and you? Where's the spider guy? You are going the wrong way because you're a moron. And you're fixing Black Pearl. You are now putting to spider, please. All right, good. Right, let me get back with these uh, dudes. Did I just do one there? Right, you guys can come over here. And again, we're going to build more food stalls, more toilets in a moment. Keep everyone really happy. And maybe we'll get a golden toilet on this level. That's perfect right there. 2G off the loan, so I'm going to build some stuff. And I'm going to build a food stand there. And I want another one, so the another one here would be perfect. Again, we'll just do the same ones. It doesn't really matter too much. But the toilets, we do want to get many more toilets. So let's go one there. I'm going to build like 10 toilets now. It'll keep everyone happy. Toilets in this game are a little different compared to um, the other, like, stalls. So you want to get as many as possible. Big it's on average, you want one per, for like, 40 guests or something, maybe. Um, it's going to whack one in there. I think I've already got one in there, but it'll do. Yeah, this looks good. Map readers, information kiosks are fine. Some people might go the wrong way, so I'll put another information kiosk here. And now everyone should be good. Okay, now I've got no money at the moment, so what do we want to do? We want to build a new ride. Do I want to build any of these coasters at all? They're all quite expensive. They're all kind of crap. So I think what we do is we want to try and get maybe some more of these rides in. But this is a point now where I just want to fast forward and let my park sort of sort itself out in a way. So let's get some more of these benches down so people are happy when they're eating the food. They're drinking their drinks. And uh, that can go there, that can go there, there, there. We should be all right now. All right, okay. I just removed like the only bin I placed up there, but that's fine. All right, any guests escaped? So far, so good. No guests have escaped. I don't think I ever want to open this path. I really don't. I think it would just put guests from here to here if they want to leave the park. Then my park will get trashed. Now, I'm, not, I'm on 870 at the moment, but I don't really have that many rides. So let's see what's going on. See, people already want to go home, bro. Leaving the park, mate. You're literally right there, you moron. You're going the wrong way. Freaking Greg C, mate. Maybe it's just confusing to the guest. Does he have a map? You have a map. Oh, you go the wrong way, bro. You go to the ocean. You are a lucky individual. Yeah, this is not good. See, this guy's happy. Yeah, this is not good. The fact that people are leaving the park and they, they can't even find the park exit is really not good. Um... trying to work out why they can't find the exit. If there's just too many weird paths in one area here. That circle down, maybe. Maybe I should remove it and make it more simple. 
it's going to backfire on me later, that, I think. Um, and I don't really know what to do about it at the moment. It's something to do with... The park's fine. As long as I don't open this up, we're okay. I just want to build more rides. What are we getting, mate? Give me some sort of good coaster. Uh, oh, a junior coaster. Let's put one of these. Cheap, effective, good. Where should we put him? I really like my wooden man. I like how a little squished him in there, bro. He's happy. Uh, I guess, in all honesty, we just build it here. Um, may as well. I set it to 25 because then I can build the entrance over the top here. I will give it a maximum station. These are pretty cheap rides and they normally have decentish rains. We'll just build a little fast one here. Um, let's go with... Might hit the timber rider. Some of the trotters in the way. All good. Okay, this is actually a pretty big one. Let's get some money out for this. Hmm. So 70 feet to 25 is fine. I'm actually rocking a decent speed here. Can I bring this ride through that ride? And the answer to that is yes. And I've done it right here, I believe. I'll be very happy if it works. Yep, I can just drop that there. I can put it down here. That's nice. That'll be a nice uh, excitement rating boost for both of them. Ride's kind of garbage, but it's all it really needs to be, and it leaves me space for more rides. And again, this one doesn't have a photo, but we can just put one forward here, and I can take it straight back to the station. Little ride, medium, high, medium would be absolutely perfect. And we'll do... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do like seven... Seven... I could do eight. We'll do four trains of seven. It's a very stupid idea. Let's do three trains of ten. No, this is generally such a short ride that I just want two trains of big ones. Ready, my friend? Go. Let me see how good you are. Ratings will be medium. My medium would be prediction. Maybe just maybe medium, medium, medium. It's not going to be the best ride. And I will take my path over here. Just some quick path. Don't need to put any effort into it. And down twice here should work. Yep. This one here is just the same, except I go down one by digging twice. There we go. Alrighty. Don't be garbage ratings. Ooh, high, high, medium. That's even better. You are now open and you can be... It's going to charge $5 for this one. It's a bit cheap, but... I don't know. We'll just call this... I don't know, Wormer. I can't think of a name, bro. It's just a horrible color right now, and it's putting me off. Give me some brown in there. Let's give it a sandy color. I'll do. Right, another ride in the park. Three Gs off the loan. That's a lie. Advertising campaign for the park. Let's do the first one of those. Advertising campaign for a particular ride is always Timber Trotter. Which isn't making me much at the moment. Oh, never mind. It's Max still. That's good. Uh, six weeks for that. As soon as I get, like, $15. That's good. And I am going to get a, a guy, I think, just to literally only do that. Okay, how are my guests doing? You want to go home? 27. I, I don't understand how we can't find the way out, bro. Let me just watch this guy. The park's... Look what he's doing. I don't understand what he's doing. He can't locate the way out. And if this is a problem now, it's going to... It's just going to mess me up completely later. Why can't you find the way out, my friend? Is he just bouncing between the chip shop and that? No, he's got past the chip shop now. Where does he go? Because this is... I genuinely need to fix this, like, now. Alright, he's getting better now. I'm just going to follow him. No, bro, you're right there! I think I'm going to have to, like, remove this. And connect this path here so people can find the way down. I'm gonna have to simplify it all, I think. It's a good thing I'm spotting this now because I would actually fail the park here if I didn't spot this. Um, right, Billy C, bro. There. Let me let me put him here. Actually, I need to see if he can actually get out the park. Because there's so many of them that want to leave, but they can't. They don't seem to be able to find the way out. Right, that's good. So we got him finding the way out. Now, hopefully we get more of them. I'm going to have to work on this for a while. 22. You want to go home. Just lead the way, Glenn. 
Okay, good. Glenn got himself out. That's nice. Claudia, you're too slow. Uh, you're in the same place. Everyone seems to be in the same place. No, we've got this guy as well. Right, so far it looks like all of them are finding the way out now. He's good. Yep, he's good. Okay, this is good. Leaving the park. How many? Got it. Nice. Okay, sweet. That was a. Uh, that would have been a big problem if I didn't fix whatever that was. Now, I don't understand what that mechanic is. I'm going to be deadly honest. I don't have a freaking clue. But it is fixed. That is all that matters. Okay. So we have 700 guests and we're still in year one right now. They're running out of money, which is fine. Um, we're good right now. I did just get a vertical drop coaster. I think what I'm going to do, normally I build a beastly one of these. I think I'm going to build a really small one. Like, if you've ever been taught in towers, the Oblivion, right? I want to build something small like that. But I want to build it in a way where it actually is kind of cool. Uh, maybe it comes out here and goes down that, if I can do that. Let's see if we can build that. This is going to be a... Uh... Oh, no, because the whole thing is not available, is it? Can I actually build this ride underground is the question. Hold on, I'm testing some. I don't know if this actually works. No, this ain't going to work, is it? Um... Wait, will it? It should do, actually. The test is if I can actually just build the ride here and see if it will go underground here. So that hits Timber Trotter. No, that's going to hit as well, won't it? Yeah, okay, that's massive. I going to say, I'm going to swim it in there. That would have been quite nice. Um, park rating still not 9 and 9. Let's go check out what it's doing, though. Um, so everyone's not hungry, running out of cash. I've got all the hour to go homes out the way. Perfect find there. Again, I don't understand what that mechanic was. Worm is absolutely smolching, bro. Let's get some, um... Let's do a pagoda entrance for this ride. And do I have a uh, staff covering? Yes, I do. Seven Gs at the moment. What we're going to do is I'm going to get some thrill rides in now because I don't really need seven Gs. But we're also going to build a vertical drop ride. I'm just trying to work out where the hell to put it. It just isn't a good place because of the stupid rocky terrain, bro. Oh, bro. I've worked it out. I'm going to build it on top of the castle. Entrance will be... I mean, the twist is booming, so we'll put the entrance somewhere there. But let's go with this. And that should be on top of the other one, right? So what we're going to do is that to here... Ooh, ooh. We're on top of the castle. Can I put it in that? That might be possible, actually. How fast is it going to go? Hey, I went in a small one, so maybe we just make a small but rapid one. If I go left to the right here. Not quite going to work. Let's just keep it simple. Um, it's roughly halfway. We'll do a holding break for the drop here. I can't vertical it there, but I just want to keep it on top of the castle. On right photo section there. Do that, do that, do this. Turn it there, and we go up again. It's pretty bad, but it's kind of what I want is a little cozy... Um, oh, it's perfect for this bit. But I did want a little cozy uh, looping coaster. And this is actually, like, genuinely just creating it perfectly. But it's kind of garbage, but... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> it might be the worst thing because I've ever made, but if it gets like a high, high, medium, then I'm happy with that. Uh, entrance and exit. Entrance. Exit, maybe? It's going to cost a bit. No one's going to really go on it, though. Alright, let's see what we get. So the holding break for the drop. You should never really build those. They're kind of trash, but I just thought I'd build them. Pop that balloon because it existed. Alrighty, that's alright. Alright, give me like a high, high, medium and I'll be very happy. Okay, it's pretty... That's fine, I'm happy with it. I wanted high, high, medium, wanted a small one, it's good. It leaves me space later on in the park to build something even bigger. And uh, that, as of yet, I don't know, but it will definitely not be a compact inverted, I'll tell you that straight away. Alright, I'm on top of the thing now. Um... trying to think where I bring the entrance to. Let's build the exit first, actually. Get this out of the way. Exit, I'm going to build the uh, 
Iron Brew Revolution from Blackpool Pleasure Beach exit. That's what I call this. Compact, long, cozy. I want to make sure I set it so people can't go up this way either. This is a one-way path. I'm just going to dig it out. Yeah, throw some underground in there, make mine up. And then that should be that. And then that connects to there. And instantly, nobody goes up there. Those guys can, but everyone else does not. Right, give me my uh, cue back. And we go back to my entrance, which I think was just built down here. And I've got it right here connected to the exit, which is not good. But it's also not connected to the path. There we go, that's one. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna run it across this castle. And then we're coming out. I might switch the black pearl, and this is probably a good idea. Oh, I'm very high up. Do that or something. Go cozy. Nope, that's not working. Path in the way. I don't know what the fuck path is, but all right. I think I've got it. You are closed temporarily. Let's get all that out of the way. Oh no, now I need to find my path. It's uh, down one. Press that. Press that. That, and then it's down. Click that. Down, 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 down. Okay, good. So that's that, and then the black pearl. Now, obviously, because it's not as exciting as a ride, I can actually take it somewhere else. And that somewhere else will be there, which is a horrendous place for it. No one's going to go on it, but it doesn't make much of a difference because this ride is not very good. So we'll open this and we'll test. And you can be charged at a nice, humble 6 toy. All right, that's good. And you can be... What's that game everyone says when I play Age of Wars? Like Castle Crashes or something? We'll just call it that. Castle Crashes. Open color scheme is going to be... I might go with the same brown as the wooden, actually. That's yeah, all right. And then we'll leave. We'll use orange cars for this one. Bright cars, nice train. I have 10 grand. Holy Jesus Christ. Right, let's do an advertising campaign for the park. We'll do an advertising campaign for Castle Crusher. Free food or drink can be drinks. And free rides on a particular ride can be spider, which is the first ride in the park. I'm now going to just pay off 9 Gs of the loan. And I'm now going to build the observation tower sorry the launch free fall then i need to put some handymen down for that ride that i just built and a good place to put this ride would probably be over here it's a bit of an empty spot i mean there's no way good really to put it in. yeah i'll sneak it beneath this little toilet over <laughs> i never really build these big their ratings are really good when they're small and really bad when they're big so i don't really bother it and uh, we'll build that to Wait, is that a straightforward? Okay. Do I want the path a bit bigger than that? I think I do, actually. I'm going to make it like a worming path. I'll do... That is perfecto. Right, charger. Let's do 45. Test number one. Go, go, go. Kaboomo. That's a blow up. So we'll do a 40, and that should be good. And I think we can charge, like, I don't know, $3 for this. What else, baby? Check no style. Torrent. Launch. Probably should have thrown that into the castle, to be honest. Right, you are zooming. You are now open. We're good to go. 355. Charge four for that. No problem at all. Okay, now we've got this dude here. And you, my friend, are going to do... Oh, man, I have to do four different ones. We have two different dudes doing this. We probably got three dudes, actually. That should be good. Get a few more mechanics into the park. 2,000 loan is paid off almost. We have a park rating of 949. How's everyone doing? So far, so good. And I think we're chilling right now. I've got the park nicely created. No one's crowded. I only need to get like a few hundred more guests. So we'll put a top spin in somewhere. Let's see if I can fit under the ride in the castle. I don't think I'm going to build out this outside area. I might connect that to there, and that's it at that point. But I think at the moment the park works well. I don't want to risk getting another weird thing going on where people can't find anything. So the top spin, I think. Let's remove this path and just go with what I said. Whack it there. It looks handsome. 
test it for now. And what we'll do is we'll put it on to... I'm going to put this one on to Berserk mode. I don't use Berserk that often. I think it's actually really bad. But uh, today I just feel like we're going to be different. So we'll do it. I need to work out how these paths are going to connect. They're going to connect nice and easily. Oh, dead easy connection. That's fine. And then we go with this one to there, there, there. And now that should work. You're open, brother. Uh, I'm just going to call it Berserker. Let's call it Berserk, actually. And this one's going to have 20 handymen just shit chilling outside. Let's put a bin there. I think I have a toilet nearby, but put some balloons in for no one who wants it. And I'll put a handyman in to do literally that. Okay. Once you have the loan, I'm going to fast forward and finish the loan off, but I will do a castle entrance here. Ooh, lock cannon. And this one. I'll do castle for all of these, actually. Uh, brown. Brown again. And then brown over here. I don't think I was going on this right now. Turn that down a bit. Right, how are my rides doing? I've not checked at any point. Status, profitability. Uh, Berserk only just opened it. It's fine. Black Pearl is closed because I'm a moron. Forgot to open it. You guys would have seen that and you're all giggling. Now you have noticed it. Timber Trot is still doing the best, which it should. Uh, I don't think any ride will beat Timber Trot. I just opened that. It's fine. Uh, restrooms don't ever really make any money, so that's fine. Um, that's good. Let's fast forward and pay my loan off. Kapow. And am I getting another thrill ride here? Uh, let's pay that off now. Now I've got low money. We're going to throw a ride. We'll get that. We're going to get more roller coasters now. So now I need 300 more guests. I'm near the end of the park. Now the second half of the park, what normally happens is all my guests start running out of money. And uh, they all leave the park. And then it's hard to maintain it. So we can make our rides cheap towards the end. But what we're going to do is I'm going to get whatever the thrill ride this is. Which is a... We're going to do the advertisement immediately. Actually, I'll wait for them all to come in. I'll just do them all at the same time. A roto drop. And then we'll get some coasters in. Because I'll have a ton of money in a moment. But there's nothing really to do here except for fast forward. So let's put everyone on Timber Trotter because it's still booming. Uh, free food or drink can be fries this time. And free rides on a particular ride can be Toilet Launcher, which has a full queue. So that was a bad idea. Okay, you can do that area there. We want the Roto Drop in the park. I feel like a ride's kind of missing here. Again, there's no flat or nice toe. Okay, that one. Again, we want a small one here. Big ones are really shitty. Uh, that looks like it will fit perfectly. This might not. So, yeah, this might not actually work where I've placed it. Well, that'll never work. Is there anywhere else I can put the exit? The entrance is perfect. I can literally take that straight to there. Maybe... No, it'd be too big. Let's move it. It was cozy, but I just realized what's cozy is just lower that. Fort Minor's broken down. That's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. I like the new color scheme anyway. Right, this still might not work, but we should be okay. Because I put this now. Let's go down with it. No, it still doesn't work. So let's go... No, we need to go back again. Let's just make this quicker and delete the whole thing. There we go. Goodbye, sir. Roto drop is now established where it will definitely work. And if it doesn't, then I will be, uh, let's just say enjoy the pump. Okay, we can do this a bit better here. I'll just do flat to that to that. And then this might hit again, but I should be able to get it in a bit easier this time. Delete, delete, boom, boom. Nice. Okay, road jump go. Should be like probably like low, medium, high or something, maybe. Maybe medium, medium, high. Medium, high, high. That's not bad. Charge four fifty for that. Charge five dollars for that even. Bob Slate Coast, I ain't building that pile of shit. It's trash. Leave everything running. Part values at nine nine one, not quite the maximum. People are feeling sick. I have enough handymen, but I have so much money now that we can do uh handymen everywhere. So a poor twenty and I think, yeah, a tip for this park is one, just, it's a good thing I found all that, uh, the mistake or the glitch that was going on earlier when my, uh, guys couldn't locate the exit to the park. Hey, Berserk is booming, bro. People are loving it. Good value. How much is it costing? Oh, shit, that's why. 350 for you, man. Observation tower. One person in the queue, mate. Who are you, bro? My boy. We have Aaron. Heather's not looking the happiest. 
All these. Okay, now it's Boomer. Timbertrot is absolutely popping, which is good. So let's go for wait for full load. Question mark. Can't afford it. Yeah, actually, bro. Alright. Oh, people are throwing up. Oh, that's sick, man. I'll get a handy man or sword all that out, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so I need, what is it, 1,300 guests by year three. I've got 1,300 now by year two, but maintaining 1,300 now, I would fail the part because these 1,300 will run out of money. Um, so I have to keep building rides, and that is a lot of vomit I spot. Let's uh, whack you down there, my dear champion, and you can just do literally that, man. That's all you paid to do, man. So what rides do I have? These are so bad. Man. This is just mini and thrill rides. Do I have every thrill ride? Yes, 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 and yes. Do I have all these? Yes, yes, yes. I don't have a slide, but they're kind of trash. All these are garbage. Maybe we just build a mine train. Let's build a mine train, actually. These are rides that can be a bit chaotic. Um, what is this graphical thing? What's going on, bro? I don't like this. Go away. I want to build at 55. 40. That's better. I want to build at 40, mate. Not 55. Mine train up here. There we go. That's better, mate. Oh, my advertising campaigns have finished. Always whack these on. Keep them coming. Um... Tor no, no, no. Was it? Was a Castle Crasher, I think, was the one that dips. I hope so. Did I get it right? I did, mate. There's no one on it. I don't think I know what's going on. Mini roller coaster car. Pack of garbage. Alrighty. Let's build a nice one of these. One more up there to the 100. Put it down here. Right, let's see where we go to it. Oh, if I go one higher. It would be very nice, but that puts me on top. So what we're going to do is we'll go to this, then I'll put an S-Bend in. And then now I can do a nice double here, which would be queen. And then we'll do a big turn into a single, into a half. No, let's do a double up. Do that into that. 105 should be fine. Yep, do that. I think the exit to the park's there, so we have to be careful of space here. So here, I don't really need to bank my curves because the speed of the ride isn't going to be that much. So it allows me to build what I've done here. And then we can go... Helix up here, actually. And then if I can get this to doing a single down and hitting perfectly, it would be great. That's good. And then we'll do an online photo section. And then we go... Sixty-five from that. I'm not sure how fast we're going right now, but it might be a little quick. That's okay. So the entrance is going to be here. I'm just going to put the ride over the top of the other ride. I'm liking this. this is a bit chaos. This ride. Oh, I have to do it. I'm sorry. I just have to do it. <laughs> Had to be done, bro. Had to take it through that little gap, mate. That's beautiful. Now I guess we bring it back, actually. This is good. It makes all this. Very nice ride. We'll just put some brakes in here at uh, 27, 27, 22. And then we just go... It's a bit of a weak ending, but I just had to take it through there and just call it. Because I don't know if this will go in here. I think I'm one shot. That was a beautiful build, mate. I'm not going to lie. I built that nice and fast. Two trains of seven. Let's go for three trains of six for this ride. Maximize the lift hill. Let's go, mate. High, very high, medium. Maybe pushing towards the very high because of all the intersections I've got. Well, let's see how we do today, shit. I can bank all these curves as well if it is going too fast, but I think it's fine. It's a nice double up there. 20 round there is perfect. Banking, that would just look quite bad. Now, that one's a small bank curve at high speed, so that might hit some G-forces. Uh, I think it will make everything hit. Yep, no problem. That's a helix down, I think. Or is it helix up? It goes through there. Up one last time, down here, into the break section. That should be all right, that man. High, high, medium. It is beautiful. I don't know how loud that is, by the way. It is uh, very loud on my end, and I just realized I will need to 
Do some stuff. That should work. Yeah, back to it. There is the exit. Yep, guests are nice. I've got a quite a decent amount over the uh, threshold required, which is good. Where do I even want to build this queue to? I know where I do. So the queue for this ride will once again connect in our little trick where we want people to go on it. So we're going to go up to 240, which hits, and then we go here, and then we just build all the way to the side. No, hold on. I don't think I can do this, actually. I was going to say I can connect it there, but this queue's massive now. Oh, are we good? We're good. No! Oh, wait, we are good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Peace. Man, you know, this. I was generally worried for this terrain thing, and I was just going to be sat there in silence trying to work out how to build my pathways around everything. And then luckily, mate, it's just worked. Oh, no. Never mind. Speaking of pathways I can't build. This exit's going to be huge now. the one way but we're just going to remove this merry-go-round entrance there we go oh, that's fine i don't need to one way that okay test again i moved the exit so i've lost all my stats gold man bro pow go karts yeah i'll build them seven diddlers for this one there we go friend wild west gold mine is there let's color it let's some gold in there oh my god that's a bit bad actually ah I like that triple black is actually really nice. Gold trains, but then maybe add that little trim on you. It's pretty holy mother of 20k. Where did that come from, bro? Size camp. Wow, it's booming as well, bro. It's booming. Let's get over to the gold miner, bro. I probably shouldn't set it out for a ride that has a maximum line, but I have so much money right now. I don't know where that came from. I want to unlock a... Uh, let me put the go-karts into the map, and then I'm just going to unlock roller coasters. On the cinema as well, right? We're done with the throw rides now. Roller coasters only, man. I have 20k to spend on one final ride today. One final big boy, hopefully. Okay. You know what, bro? I think at the end of the day, when you made the money, make the most of it, bro. Nice. That's where we'll put our go kart track, actually. I was going to put the cinema in, but go kart track. So we'll build this smart. I go like this. The entrance and exit goes to the side here, and I can build the. Wait, that'll work, actually. Wait, why is it so busy here? Oh, it's going to be sat down. Um, go back to this. Build it there. Entrance and exit. And the entrance just comes down here. And the exit comes down there. Now that gives us a 4 by a 2 by 2 actually, which is not good. Let's build our uh, humble go-karts. Yeah, I was gonna. I'm just gonna build it in here. Nice. I was thinking about maybe taking it down the mountain, but I'm just gonna build it in here. Don't wanna put any height on it. Yeah, if I go forward a bit, then we could go up to. Oh no, I can't go back under that, can I? I need to go up one here, up one there. I think works. No, I even think that won't work, will it? Worst food in the country? Well, I ain't got shit, so... Sit up. Ah, right, this is a bit better. There we go. Nice little uh, go-kart track. Humbling all over. Not that. There we go. Go-kart's done. Squished them into this little corner. We have that. We're on race mode with a number of laps served. We'll do two laps. And you're open, brother. This queue will get full quick, so we'll just charge like 450 for it. I might as well. Right, what do we got? All those are fine. Fruity cinema we build, and then we build a nice coaster, and I think we just fast forward to the win. And that's this park. I'm pretty happy I turned this one around there. I thought this was going to be the worst map in the history of this game. Somehow, I've managed to make it the, not the worst map. Now, can I put the cinema here is the question. 
I can, but it's going to be a bit weird. I can't quite see what's going on here, so let's wipe that in there. Pretty poorly placed cinema, but it will do. You. Nice. Flat. One up here, maybe? Nope. Okay, I'm going to have to just connect it to here. Because of the thing. Timber chopper up. Do not explode. Sounds like restraints were still closed. We're good. the cinema it's another right open let's uh, go with storm chasers storm chasers pow open and you are now three diddles all righty how are we doing bro go karts are pretty expensive before probably should charge more actually for that because those people get a 999 park rating too crowded here not good Oh, I think it's because I just opened this new ride, actually. So everyone on the Nan is here. Yeah, everyone on the Nan's here. So that'll pass it a bit. I can't really make the queue much bigger, to be honest. I'll leave that be. But I've got a nice window here to actually failing. But I'm in October year two, and I need year three for 1300. So I've kind of smashed this. So now we're not going to build that because that's a sack of garbage. We're going to sit back and admire my beautiful park. And hopefully we unlock a nice roller coaster to finish. And we'll just build that coaster in this area here. Should be able to conclude the park there. 300 guest window here. I can always turn things down. The amount of money I've got is crazy good. We'll just whack out more advertising campaigns. Oh, I have all the coasters. Oh, that's boring. Oh, man. Do I have any ones that I even want to build here, bro? These are all boring. Um... Ah. <laughs> I generally don't really want to build any of these, but let's build a lay down, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I guess it's the only one. Oh, no, I can't even bank the curves on this. I don't want to build that, mate. What can I bank the curves on here? Oh, they're all trash. They're all trash. Ugh, let's build a suspended swing, mate. This one's kind of easy to get to, like, a high excitement rating. It's just it always comes with crazy high noise as well. All right, this is our flagship coaster. Let's go for a beast. Very high, very high, very high. We're in before. 10.0 on the nausea. 30 feet dropping down to, what is it, 65, 85. Let's go for 105, so 145, which is a bit too high. So we go 125. I haven't go that high. Stupid ride. Ah! Sorry, the math I'm doing there is basically if you go like that, it's 45 in depth. So you see 65 from 110 is 110 minus 45. But then every ad, every everyone you add on like, top of that is an extra twenty, so that's why I was trying to math in my head, so that I could drop four of these in a row. But no, my name's Video Game, and I'm shit. Hold up, never mind. Video Game's great. Four in a row. Let's go. Okay, it's already a mammoth ride. my speed going 110 i think i'm going pretty freaking quicker i might want to just drop the brakes instantly here oh no oh no oh my god if this is an extreme i'll be uh pretty surprised but let's keep messing around you know you know we're having fun we're having fun actually finding enjoyment out of building a uh, suspended looping coaster So lose 70 feet here as a reset speed. So we'll drop that down there and work some brakes to 18 just so we can start again. That allows me just to get control on the speed for the ride here. So it's not just going to be ultra extreme without me being able to do anything about it. Yeah, that's to 65 from 70. Um. think I can do much here actually oh, okay. and I'll sort of try and bring it back 45 it should make it oh 
Walker to get into the gold miner. Not quite. Calculating, calculating. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to take it through here, actually. Yeah, I'm going to try. Uh, can I do a big one here or no? No, I can only do that and then maybe this, but then I have 45 feet to deal with, which is kind of annoying, so let's not bother. And we'll just do a nice, humble curve here. Down to the good old 30 mark, which I can't do. That's 30, and then no need to curve anything. All right, me bro. What is this bad boy going to be? Let's go for... Whoa. I like those. They look sick. Let's go for three sets of 10. Or three sets of 11, maybe. Nose just boosted, but the excitement rate is absolutely massive on those. All right, let's see what this bad boy can do. All righty, brothers. <laughs> this might be bad. This is the fastest ride in the park, biggest. My guess will be very high, very high, very high. Um, with an ex nausea rating like crazy high. But I don't think it'll be extreme. Actually, this is looking very extreme. Yeah, my G-forces are going all over the place. Oh, nice. So I, I didn't even need the brakes there. I actually ran out of speed anyway. I'm going to make the last bit. There's a rush down there. Oh, easy. Pretty fast until the end. Are we extreme? Yeah, I was going to say, mate. I'm pretty sure the part that makes me extreme, though, if we go to train two, is uh, where we got it on. Lateral Gs. I want train two, bro. Okay, train one. Where's the moment? I'm pretty sure it's this double dip I do here. Oh, no, it's just this curve. I could maybe fix that, actually. Get off. I want to try and fix it. So it's this bit here, and I think the reason why is because I do a small into a, um, a big. So let's just go straight up. We'll just do... Moving backwards a bit. Just notice my park value is going down, so I need to be careful towards the end of the park that we don't lose everything. That being said... Fire that in. I'm going to get everyone on Timber Trial. I think I always want to put these to rides at, like, at the beginning of the park. If they're not, then that's not good. And definitely not a first wheel. Fuck my gold miner. Something like that. And then if I just double turn. I need a big turn. So we're down one into the big turn, into the small turn, into that, down to the 50, straight forward. That might avoid it in the lateral G there, but I'll be pretty surprised. But the lateral G was the only thing making it ultra extreme there, so let's go see. Hmm, it's got one a bit below the three, but yeah, I might fix it. There we go. ba 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 fixed. So what I did there, if you're building coasters, is if you go on here, anything that's in the red... What you do is you track the train on here, and you've got velocity, altitude, vert Gs, and latches. Now, I don't think velocity can ever really be in red. If it is, then your ride's way too fast. Plus, there isn't even velocity, actually, here. Uh, altitude, I don't think, makes any difference. It's only the vert and latches. So, if your vertical Gs, or positive vertical Gs, or lateral Gs, are these any in red? You go in here, watch your train, and work out where, and then you can fix it. As I just did there, this roller coaster was doomed, but then because I could locate that, I just fixed it instantly by uh, changing a few things. And now I've got a little behemoth in the park. Now, where does our entrance go is the question. Remember the exit first hit. To there. And then the exit is going to go a bit over and bring it down to the go-karts. Can I bring it over the go-karts? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Ladies and gentlemen. You are open, sir. Oh, mate, everyone's zonging to it, bro. Have you got money, mate? I'll just charge $7 for it. I don't need money at this point in the ride. You can be rock style, too, and you can just be called the... The Vomitator. Enjoy the bump. And boom, guests are popping off again. Park's basically beat right now. Hopefully you guys learned a bit from playing the Brotherman game. 
And uh, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really enjoy this scenario. But if you guys have watched the Dragon's Cove episode, this episode was no Dragon's Cove, bro. That episode was the biggest sack of slime. And if any of you are interested in watching any of the other episodes, uh, they are in the description. There is a link to the playlist, so just find the playlist for the Quest Tycoon. And you can find every episode. It'll probably take you a while to catch up on all of them, though. However, the next episode is the one I hope you all catch. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then make sure you don't subscribe, because if you do subscribe, you're going to come back and unfortunately hear my voice again, and that is not good, just saying. Don't win any awards. Where's Park Food? All right. Um, but yeah, so the next level, I do believe, is actually uh, Amity Airfield, so that should be fun. This ride's actually popping. Trains are running really nice as well. I don't really need to build this thing in a ship. We're done with the park. I 400 uh, spare guests here, so I've done really well. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did better on this one than the previous park. Um, because the previous one, I was just running out of money and all the guests ran out of cash. And I don't actually have a uh, cash machine on this park. Any park with a cash machine is so easy to win. Except I think Amai Airfield has a cash machine, but that one's... That one's paid to enter the park, if I do remember correctly. It's been probably like 10 years since I beat that. Oh, no, it's a lie. Probably like five years since I beat that park. Hey, it's popping, bro. Oh, it's only fitting. Okay, maybe I need to build more of these. I need to build more of them, to be honest, yeah. All right, how's me uh, Timber Trotter doing? 30k an hour. Timber Trotter's been in this park for two years, and it's been making me 30k a year basically every single year. So the wooden roller coaster, always the hard carry. I like the design I made as well, fitting it into that little gap there. It's quite a unique one from me. Um, other than that, I like this one here, getting the three levels uh, entwined. And then this, I didn't really put much effort into that. I just built it. And uh, I thought it was good. But yeah, that is um, basically guests are getting lost or stuck. See, that's after I found what was going on earlier. I'm going to leave that be now. I don't think I'll lose the part value and I shouldn't lose the guests at this point. I only have three more months. Um, I will need, if it drops to like nine, oh, below 999 even, I mean, the park rate's going up, but if it drops below 999 even for a second, I might need to go and fix what it was, and, um, yeah, I don't really know what that's going to be. Hot dog stall, don't mind if I do. Oh, my golden toilet maybe before the end, let's put the toilets in. Two toilets next to each other there. Um... I have 10 toilets and I have 1,800 guests, so yeah, I can't get the golden toilet. Um, I don't know this space. Hey, Berserk's doing really well as well, to be honest. Maybe that's a little sneaky trick, you know, make everything really intense. I know that boosts the part value, so maybe the part value being boosted is helping me a lot with this uh, scenario. All right, let's not go for the golden toilet. We'll get out of the time. Wow, it's booming, bro. Look at Beverly, mate. Beverly, sorry. Oh, let's watch him throw up, bro. Come on there, Beverly, man. Oh, hurry up. Oh, the vomit just broke down, great. Where are you, my bro? Uh, yeah, you're close. Come on, Beverly. We're watching you, bro. Any moment now. Did he throw up? No, he sat on a bench. You know what, Beverly? Welcome to the castle, man. Enjoy. Oh, shit. Just realized I think you can actually get off the path. Just want to watch him throw up, mate. Just want to watch him throw up. Come up. Watch throw up. You're fine. There we go. Heading for Fry Shop 3, my boy. All right, where's Fry Shop 3? We'll give him a little shortcut. My boy. Enjoy, mate. Throws you up instantly. Go get some fries. You didn't even buy any. He sat down again. My boy. All right, pot value looks like it's going down, but that's fine. We're going to throw an advertising campaign in for this moment. It will make my um, park a bit crowded, but then we do that. And then I think a stupid idea would be to just open up the extra paths here. I think we're good. But yeah, that's another one where, again, you get given this scenario. And what I've done is I've only used half of it. Because if I used all of it, I think my, the amount of guests I would have that would just be, let's open this up. Uh, not crowded. I wouldn't have any guests crowded or a few, but I want to go home. The amount of people here that I think would be lost if I had the whole park open... If a guy decides to leave the park here, by the time he gets here, he's probably been, done it a few times and dropped in my park ring. And then there might be a few of them as well. So that's uh, done all right. But I'm happy. Once again, unless something goes catastrophically wrong uh, in a bit, it looks like we've managed to first try this episode as well. What was it? Fun for... Hey! The golden toilet as well, just to make this video good. Just to make it good. But that was a yeah, fun fortress, not a very fun level. 1,300 guests by year three. And it looks like we've demolished this again. First try. Now, my next level, my friends, is Amity Airfield. And uh, I'll show you it in a moment. 
It is notorious for being, as I said earlier, one of the hardest levels in the entire game to beat scenario and campaign-wise. Hopefully, we can um, beat it first try. But that video might come in two parts. Um, the only other videos that might come in two parts later are things like maybe Extreme Heights, I think it is. That one might be like a 10-hour video. So I don't want to really make the whole video in 10 hours. So I'll probably get bored halfway through and start brute forcing rides or something. I normally get a bit bored in parks like this when I already beat the scenario after like 18 months, let's just say, or a year and a half. I kind of just want to finish the park and move to the next one. But I'm happy I got that last ride in. But I would have liked to... Actually, to be honest, I'm kind of happy that we built this uh, Vominator. I might start building more of these. How much does it make me? It doesn't make me that much, actually. How come? I think it's because I've set these to obviously two passengers per car, 20 per train, 60 person going through. Yeah, maybe that's something like that, but 1,944 customers an hour compared to our um, 3,000 on Timber Trotter. How many on this? 3,000 on Gold Miner as well. Yeah, so they're making some big money. Oh, we've got 2,000. got 2,000. It's good. But I think as well, that boosts my park value a lot, having a uh, ride like that, because it is uh, very high in the intensity, very high in the nausea. It stats in general, if we added them all up, is what, call that like 23 just scrape it close to 24 in total. I don't know if that makes much difference, but this one over here, this one's what, like 17, 18 or something? So that is that. Anyways, uh, today's Wednesday. I'm up, uh, Today's the 1st of November. Sorry, I'm going to get this video up on Wednesday, which is good. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to try and get these videos uh, going again. 100,000 gold has been achieved. Uh, I'm going to try and get these videos going again. I'm going to like to say minimum once a week. I'd like to try and get twice a week, but I will try and get Amity Airfield out of the way. This recording obviously is one hour and 21 minutes long. I've spent one hour and 21 minutes of my day making this video. You know, at the end of the day, I have time in the day to make these. It's just kind of discipline myself. But I am joining RuneScape so much that it is kind of the priority. So there we go. Fun Fortress has been done. Save that. Nice park here. No insanely good rides, but I didn't really try with the... Um... I kind of just enjoyed making my high-high mediums on this park, but that is good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in the next video, Amity Airfield. To have at least 3,000 guests in your park at the end of October, year four, with a park rating of at least 600. So it's a year four park. I might not be able to do much fast forwarding in this one. It is an admission price of that. And you know what we're going to do to make this video even more exciting when we do it? I'm not going to delete this path. I'm going to leave it there. We're going to earn all our money. We're going to do it properly. Thank you for watching, guys. See you on the next video. Have a good one. And goodbye.